In this video, I'm going to show you more ways that you can use loops in C++. I'm going to show you how you can use loops for input validation, how you can use a loop to average a series of numbers, and how the break and continue statements work with loops. First, let's talk about how we can use loops for input validation. When we're writing a program, most programs should not continue with invalid values. And if we're writing a program that uses user entry, we can use a loop to allow a user to re-enter values. So for example, we could give a user a prompt to enter a number between 1 and 10, and then use CN to get that number. Depending on how our program is designed, if the user were to enter a number outside this range, it might cause other problems. So what I can do is use a while loop to validate the user's entry, and if the user's entry is outside of the range, give them another opportunity to enter a valid number. So here I have a while loop with a test condition that's looking at is the number that was entered either less than one or is the number greater than 10? If that or statement is true, and with an or statement, either side can be true to make the whole thing true. If that is true, that there is a number less than one or greater than 10, then I'm going to display invalid entry, please re-enter, and then I'm going to use another CN statement to get the same variable. Once the number is re-entered, I'll go back up to the top of the loop and I'll test that number again to see if it is now a valid entry. If it's still invalid, then once again, I'll prompt the user to re-enter and I'll continue to do that until the user enters a valid number. So let's see this in a working program. In this program, I'm first gonna demonstrate the input validation I went ahead and created variables for all three things that I'm going to demonstrate, but let's start with the input validation. I created an integer variable named number, and that's where I'm going to store the user's input. So first, let's prompt the user. I'm gonna put a comment here that this is where I'm looking at input validation first. Input validation. So we're gonna prompt the user to a number between 1 and 10. Whatever makes sense for our program. In this case, I want a number between 1 and 10. Now I am going to test it with my while loop. And when I'm trying to test to see if a number is in a range between two numbers, I have to have two complete expressions separated by either an or or an AND operator. So I'm going to write this where I'm testing first, is the number less than the lower bound? So if number is less than one, it's out of the range that I want, or, and you may be tempted to put just a 10 here, like you would in a math class, however, this doesn't work in C++. We have to make this a full expression and say number greater than 10. So now I have while number less than one or number greater than 10. If either one of these is true, then I will execute the body of my while loop. I'll let the user know that the number they entered was invalid. And then I'm also going to use another CN statement to allow them to re-enter the number. I don't want to quit the program, I just want to get a valid number and then let the program continue. In fact, I might want to change this prompt to say, please re-enter, just to make it a little clearer about what I am wanting here. I don't even need to have the line break on that. This will be fine. Okay. 
and I'm not really so concerned about making the format exact here. I'm more interested in testing with the while loop. So let's go ahead and test this program. And I'm going to want to test this with several conditions. I want to test with a number that is inside the range, a number that is less than the range, and then a number that's greater than the range. And I see here that I do have an error. It says I have an uninitialized local variable. So what does that mean? And here I have a couple of warnings. It's interesting that I have a warning that I have an uninitialized local variable. That really is what my problem is, but it's bigger than a warning because it just didn't even compile. It gave me that cl.exe exited with code 2, which is about the most useless error you could have. But the warnings let me know that I'm using a variable that has not been initialized. So what's wrong here? Well, we asked the user to enter a number, but we never did get that number off the console window. So let's add that missing line of code here. And then I'm going to attempt to recompile and test this program. Now I still have a warning that average is an unreferenced local variable meaning I have a variable I'm not using. That's okay because we're not using average yet. And now I am getting the prompt that I'm looking for. So I'm first going to enter a negative number, say negative five. And that while loop did find that that number is not valid, it's prompting me to enter another number. So let's try a different one. Let's try 11. That didn't work. Um, what if I try zero? That doesn't work. Now, what if I try one? Well, one was within the range, so now the program continues, and this particular program doesn't do anything with it, but I can see that now I got past the while loop. So whenever I am wanting to test if a user entered a valid number, I can not only test it, I could have used an if statement to test it, but I can use a loop to give the user multiple opportunities to re-enter a number until they enter one that is valid.